Hello and welcome. We're going to play Homeland today. I am, as always, your host, Elizabeth, and Homeland is one of those weird indie games that you find on itch.io. Made for some game jam, I don't really care about the details, but it looked kind of interesting, so I thought I'd play it. But Elizabeth, you're playing some weird random game off of itch.io. Yeah, or maybe this was from Game Jolt. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. It should be fun. That's the point. It should also be artsy as heck. So let's find out just how artsy this is. A woman is writing letters to an old friend with whom she shared her childhood. They grew up in a very old, distant place where no one else has ever been. They don't live there anymore. I wonder why not. Have you heard? They're talking about us now. I'm starting to hear fragments when I hit the crowds. Snatches of yarn from the mouth of the street. And that's all it really is now. A yarn. A story. Because none of them were actually there. No one else was. Like one of the old headlines from before the presses broke down, or some small town parable with a lesson that no one can remember anymore. I don't know how it started. Maybe something intangible crossed over. A memory, and someone caught it and started talking. I just noticed I'm recording like one pixel too far on the right. I wonder if I can change that without messing up Bandicam. Oh boy, I don't know what Bandicam's going to do now. I resized the window. And now I need to move one pixel to the left. Come on, Bandicam. There we go. All right. <clears throat> right, nobody was going to notice that except me, but I noticed. So let's keep going. So, I don't really get it. We're walking through a chalk outlined canyon, dreamland thing, and we're like a fuzzy ghost. Oh, I see. We'll pick this up, and the letters will start playing again. I went back there yesterday, in the afternoon. First time it's happened when the sun's been up. Just. Snap right back like nothing ever changed. Like we never left. Saw one of your walkers on the beach. The day had a stiff breeze to it, so it was really moving. Back and forth, up and down the shore. Those things always looked so alive. I don't know how you did it. Got a little bit spooked after a while. Being there alone and all. Saw a falcon before I left that. Kestrel. You ever seen a kestrel? Beautiful things. Way off in the mist. Must have been about six stories tall. Wait, wait, the bird was six stories tall? What? Alright, so I guess these walking sections are timed so that the speech ends when you get to the bottom. Let's walk. I can't control it. And people don't believe me when I tell them about it. I bet they wouldn't even believe you ever existed. Well, I know the people at the post office don't, but, but they do send my letters, so... Hey, that gives me a thought. You are getting these, right? I know you're getting these. Send me a letter if you're getting these. Maybe that'll get the post office people off my back. I wouldn't think that. They'd, they'd have to trust me. Anyway, where was I? Wow. Right. Walked into a junk shop earlier today. Looking for a find, you know, because hoping something had crossed over recently. Even just a tile or a cup or... Because then I know for sure and... Sorry. You know the kind of place though, don't you? They must have them there too. Wherever you are. All sorts of vintage stuff. Old newspapers and electric motors and transducers. All that. Guy behind the counter looked at me funny. Didn't give me any trouble. 
but I went back in in the middle of his shop. Woke up on the floor and he was yelling at me. Can't tell if I'm there or if I'm dreaming. Can't tell anything. Wow. <clears throat> um, she's crazy or something. Like, totally nutso. She's writing letters to a person who doesn't exist. She's blacking out inside of junk shops. She thinks she's from some other world or something, or there's some other world involved. I don't know what's going on. Maybe we're walking through her other world right now. That was a really cool looking landscape. Is that the other place? Like she's from a city and cities don't exist anymore? I hear from the crowds that they've got a new way of printing. Manual labor, stamping, no moving parts, so it's okay. Don't like the way it looks myself. The paper's all white. Looks wrong. Brown and gray were just fine, weren't they? Not like I was here at the time, though. I don't like this place. I almost wrote your name down on this letter, but I don't want them to find you and take you even further away. Switching is hard to control here. Hope it's easier for you. It's been about a month, and I hate the sound of the roads, the crowds, but no one gets it. They think I'm asking them for money. I just want to go back. So why can't I? Nuts or <clears throat> what's this about printing presses? Have you heard? I don't think they're talking about us anymore. The iron's over for them. They've had their glimpse and now they're off to work. That's what they do here, by the way. They call it work, but it's nothing like it. They don't get anything done. And they smile, they smile like it's normal, and I'm the one to dismiss. I don't understand it. They're buzzing wires and documents and their crowds. I feel like I'm living in some poet's nightmare while I'm playing this. saw one of your walkers on the beach today. The beach like the post office, I mean. The beach here, with all the people and boats and noises. I thought it was just me at first, but it was right there, walking hand in hand with the wind, like you used to tell me when I would ask how that worked. I don't think it'll last long. Moving parts don't work right here. They die. None of their machines are alive. I wonder what I got here. What else is crossed over? So she lives in a world where machines don't work? letters to. Went back there again today. Didn't last long. I saw another kestrel. Up close this time. All stone and moths and beauty. Slowly moving parts. Here it would die fast. 
because this place is fragile. Not like home. That's true, isn't it? Please send me a letter. Please tell me that's true. That place is strong. So strong. That place is real. It's her letters. On the ground. Have I been passing these up and I just haven't noticed until now? It's all her letters. I don't understand. Why are you sending my letters back? And then the game closed itself. So you're looking at my beautiful yellow desktop that's bright like the sun. Um. Okay, that's uh, Homeland. I don't really know what to make of it. The art was kind of nice. The uh, text was interesting and captivating. Uh, not really much of a game, but these kind of things are like that. I'm just left perplexed by the experience. And I hope you are left perplexed. Being perplexed is fun. Ooh, mouse cursor. I will see you all next time, and uh, we'll... Try something else. Who knows what it'll be. Until then, you have a great day.